Hello everyone, welcome back to the Twisted Rods Gaming YouTube channel. And on today's episode of My Garage, I'm going to be starting a new series um, called Night Shift in the Garage. And there are a few updates in the game, I'll be going over those, and I'll be letting you know exactly what we're going to be doing. So, let's get into it. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, basically, tonight is going to be something new. Um, it's called Night Shift in the Garage with me. Um, basically, I have no goal. There's no big project. Nothing I have to get done. Um, nothing serious. Um, there are a few updates I'll talk about real quick. Um, we have a new gas station model in the game now. So the building is different. We have an extra gas pump that can't do anything. There's some extra garbage laying around. I don't know why they added that. Motorcycle parking. The building's a different shape. Um, we have a new cool rack for our oil and coolant over here. This looks the same. Our counter looks a little different over here now. Um, the ice cream machine moved over here, but there's no ice cream in it. This rack moved over a little bit. It's got most of the same stuff on it. Just our, our fluids moved over here. Um, but that's really all that it, that is different. Um, if you want to be happy for a day, drink. If you want to be happy for a year, marry. <laughs> if you want to be happy for a lifetime, ride a Dan Rimmer. I guess that's uh, that's what the motorcycle is, a Dan Rimmer. Uh, L500 or whatever it is. And this sign over here, until 2077, our gas station will be 100% ecological. We're on a mission to make the world a better place. So... That says until 2077. Still don't know when when the game takes place. And I, I did find this interesting. Gas is uh, 87 cents uh, per liter, I guess it is. Diesel and ethanol. The diesel has me awfully curious because is this a hint that there might be a diesel engine in the game in the near future? I don't know. Um, ethanol, you know, for performance games. Performance games. Uh, performance engines. Who knows? But... Let's get into the project I did have in mind for this evening. Like I said, there's no goal here. I don't have to get this done, but I have two different projects here that are both getting the same engine. Um, I'm going to be swapping uh, six-cylinder engines into both of these. I'm probably going to do the car first because I've my last couple episodes have been over the truck. I do have a few projects in mind for the truck. Um, this one's getting a six-cylinder motor in it. I totally forgot what the hell I was doing with that one. Here's my daily driver. This is the truck I'm driving now. I did get it fixed after last episode, so that's all good there. Um, don't remember what I was doing with this one. I, th I think I parted it out. Here's my mud truck. I will be featuring this in a future episode. Don't worry. It's coming soon. It's going to get a big bad motor in it, and uh, we're going to see what its off-roading capabilities are. So let's get into the project at hand. Um, so, here's my six-cylinder that's going into the Lada. Um, where are my parts? See, I didn't really prep for this. I just kind of dove right in. There's not going to be a lot of cuts in this. It's just going to be a straight-through play. Um, hope you guys don't mind that. You know what? I need to roll this engine over so I can get to my main caps. So am I doing this right? Uh, I am doing this right. Okay. So, how is everyone? Um... Hope it's not too cold for anyone out there yet. Man, summer really whizzed by this year. A little, little disappointed. There's a lot of stuff I wanted to do that I didn't get a chance to do. Um, which, um, in the near future, I will be getting my real-life YouTube channel off the ground. Or at least I would hope so. Which is going to be... Oops. Which is going to be featuring um, different stuff, uh, real life automotive wise, crazy projects, engine swaps, engine builds, um, even some crazy machine work that uh, I have in mind for stuff. Which you guys will see once I get that one up and going. Now, um, a little bit more about what the whole Night Shift series is. I cut a lot of stuff out of my videos. And it's mostly stuff about me... Uh, yammering, just randomly talking about different stuff, like stuff about my real life cars, uh, stuff about me, stuff about s stuff I've been working on, and I just, I cut it out, and it's not, and it's, one, I honestly think I, I just talk too darn much, but that's kind of the whole point. 
But something else is I want you guys to kind of get the feel from me. I want you guys to know a little bit more about me. One, my name is Dave. I am a mechanic in real life, and this is the stuff that I do. I've worked on everything from Ferraris, muscle cars, crotch rockets, mopeds, uh, boats with uh, big Detroit diesel engines in them. I hate boats. I hate diesel engines. <laughs> I do not like them. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it, and I don't do that anymore. And I'm very happy to not do that anymore. Now you guys know that about me. Um, yeah, I got to drive a Ferrari F430 Spider. That was an interesting experience. What is my shelf doing over here? All right, I don't understand this. Every time I leave the game and come back, my crap drops a shelf. Don't know why. I mean, I have stuff morphed through the shelves. Uh, Viking, I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, this is a thing. Actually, wait, I can't complain. These are modded in shelves, so you know what? Scratch that. It's not your fault. <laughs> not your fault. Um, but yeah, no, I did get to drive a Ferrari convertible. See, I'm a muscle car guy, so that kind of stuff just doesn't... It just doesn't do it for me. You know, it's not, it's not my thing. It was fun to do once, and I drove on, like, the worst highway possible... Um, to get it back uh, where it needed to go. I guess I can talk about some of my work history a little bit too. Uh, I actually used to work for, I was a private mechanic. What in the hell? Quit bouncing around like, all right, now you're starting to piss me off. Um, yeah, see how I bounce around? This is kind of what I was talking about. But um, yes, I used to work for a millionaire. I was a, both my father and I were private mechanics for uh, this guy's car collection. And it was a fun job. I got to drive some unbelievable cars, um, which is most of which the cars I just talked about driving. But we got to build some cool stuff. We got to uh, rebuild a 1971 Ford Torino. Um, it was a formal roof, but honestly, I think the formal roof looks better. It was a Cobra clone, if you want to call it that. It wasn't really a clone. It was just a Torino with a cool paint job, a hood scoop, and a big ass motor in it but uh the specs on that it was a uh one it, i call it road cone orange it was a beautiful color and it had an atk 393 stroker in it advertised the 410 horsepower with uh you know the proper intake carburetor and all that fun stuff with it and let me tell you i'm pretty damn sure it had 410 horsepower this thing i didn't want to go that far down um that thing hauled ass. That thing was just an absolute blast to drive. Um, now, that thing was basically... Um, it was a rust bucket of a car that... You know what? I need a harmonic dampener. Here we go. Here's one. It's orange, but I don't care. Um, it was basically a rust bucket of a car. I spent like a few days um, cleaning up all the rust that was under that thing. I need to go to the magazine, but I can keep talking while they do that. I basically had to get rid of all the rust that was on that stupid thing in the front end. I did all the shocks. Springs were fine. I left those alone. New upper and lower control arms, sway bar links. Um, what else is in there? Oh, yeah, all the steering components. Like, this car was absolutely shot. And I, the only thing I think my dad and I did not replace in that car was the damn... Uh, Oh, I need that. Um, was the engine. The engine was the only thing in that car we never touched or fixed. I had the dashboard out of that car at one time. Um, we put... Uh, it had an 8-inch rear end, which if you guys know anything about Fours, that's kind of like their standard run-of-the-mill um, rear end. It's not fancy. It's not impressive. It's not... Um, it, it's just a standard rear end. Well, we put a 9-inch in there, which I, I think I talked about in a previous episode, which is kind of like the big daddy of all, you know, rear ends. It's it's one of the toughest ones ever made. It'll handle pretty much whatever you throw at it. 410 horse was not even... Sorry, bleh, sorry. 410 horse is not enough to tickle a Ford 9-inch, but it would have definitely exploded that 8-inch uh, that rear end, especially with the, with the way the guy drove the stuff, and not uh, myself on occasion. But, you know, the stuff had to be tested. You know, we had to make sure it didn't, like, blow up or anything. Um... <clears throat> oh, I guess there's no dampener on this one. My bad. Um, so yeah, we put a Ford 9-inch in it. The transmission started doing something funny. Whenever you would put it in drive, it would act like uh, it would drive in only third gear. And whenever you'd put it in first gear, it would act like a line lock. The transmission was seized when you drop it down in the first gear. 
so <laughs> the car sat forever because it had a carburetor issue and we just never got around to fixing it. I mean, there was over 20 other cars we had to keep after and a boat as much as I love that thing. And it just sat for a while. I need a cylinder head gasket. That is a cylinder head gasket. So the car sat and sat. We finally got around to it. We put a Holley 750 double pumper on it. Um, mechanical secondaries, that's right. And, uh, you know, I got that thing. Or no, I didn't even tune it until after we did all the work to it. Because we put the carb on it, and I never got around the tuning it. There's my wrench. And, <clears throat> by the way, the car I'm talking about is, like, probably one of my most favorite cars I think I've ever driven in my life. I am a Chevy guy at heart, but this... This orange Torino has a special place in my heart. Because um, I think it's because it's I did so much to it. Not just me, but me and my dad. It was like the, the father-son project car we never had. And I think that's why it means so much to me. Because it reminded me a lot of the 1967 Mercury Cougar that I had. Yes, I had a Mercury Cougar. And I'm not that old. I bought that car when I was like 17, 18 years old. And uh, I sold it again in an apartment with my wife. Anyway, back to the Torino, but we put a Ford 9-inch in it, the transmission goofed up, so then we put a Ford, uh, it had a C4 FMX, which is, again, basic junk, you know, it'll handle a regular, you know, 289, 302, but, you know, anything other than that, you need a bigger transmission, so we put a C6 transmission in there, which is, again, like the biggest stuff, it, it's like the, uh, the, the Turbo 350 for, for a Ford. You know, like in the in the Chevy world. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. I'll explain better in the comments. <laughs> no, because uh, I don't want to stray off. I do that way too damn much as it is. Um, so we put a C6 in there, which was a literal, physically larger transmission by every dimension. So we had to make all new transmission cooler lines, new shifter linkage. Uh, we had to have new drive shaft made because the rear end was bigger. And the transmission was bigger, so we had to have a shorter one made. That worked out beautifully. We had that taken care of. We did so much to that car. And then uh, we put a posse in it with... Uh, he wanted, like, four tens in the, in the car. And we're like, dude, no, it's a three-speed. And he did a lot of highway driving. We're like, do you want at least something in the threes? Go with, like, a 373 or something like that. And so he finally opted for that. And the car did beautiful. It was barely like 2300 going down the highway and it just it, it did absolutely beautiful i loved that thing i did probably one of the sickest drifts i've ever done and when, when i mean drift i don't mean like i spent five minutes kicking it around a parking lot i mean just once at a t intersection i just barely feathered the throttle and it just it just slid beautifully it just slid perfect because that car was super controllable it was really happy um, you know, from all the stuff we had put on it, why can't I attach you? Kind of close enough, or, um, I guess I don't, wait, wait, is that, I don't remember where the alternator goes on this one. Is it? I'm pretty sure I have the right one. Is it? Uh, V8I6, yeah. It's the right one. Where do you go? Or am I? Oh, for crying in the mud. Where where do you go? Oh, there. Okay. That's fine. But, um... Oh, that's it. Zip, zip, done. Okay, zip, zip, done. Um, let's see here. What else do I have? Um, but no, that was an absolutely gorgeous car. I had a crap load of fun building it putting it together just driving that thing was always uh an honor um and if i ever win the lottery not that i would care to talk to that individual again but i would love to build a duplicate of that car but maybe with a uh like a five speed or something instead of a uh, um instead of a three speed the automatic because that thing just had the coolest exhaust note um and it uh it had a three inch stainless steel exhaust system on it with an X pipe and some kind of bullet muffler. I don't even remember what brand it was. Uh, the gentleman that installed it for us never told us what brand it was, or if he did, I just don't remember. But the mufflers were like maybe five inches long, five inches in diameter. They were itty bitty, but it just gave that car this 
beautiful exhaust tone and it's the only car I think I've ever heard that sounds the way that that one did. Um, definitely uh, <clears throat> a mark on memory and I'll, I'll never forget that car. Worked on a lot of other really cool cars too like a uh, Indianapolis 500 uh, pace car Camaro. Not an official pace car, but it was uh, one that they used. Where's the fuel pump going on this damn thing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I saw it for a second. Um, like, it wasn't like an actual pace car. Uh, Chevy sold a crap ton of those um, whenever they uh, um, whenever they came out with the pace car in 82 or for the Indianapolis 500 it was like a package thing you could buy some had stripes some didn't some just were just blue and silver but this one was actually like a pretty much all original car it had been repainted at one time because I think it was wrecked but overall it was a fun car the exhaust was just way too damn loud on it for a Camaro like for a car that can only rev to like 4,000 rpms it just and someone some brainiac not the owner that had it at the time but someone put a uh, Turbo 350 in it because the, the 200C that was in there was just garbage. That's why on the Knight Rider TV show they replaced all of them because they sucked. Um, but someone put a high stall converter in an engine that only revs to 4,000 RPM because it had the uh, crossfire injection system on it. Which, if for those of you who don't know what that is, it was a V8 engine that had two electronic throttle bodies, like two single barrels on opposite corners of the intake manifold. Um, it was supposed to mimic the, uh, um, oh goodness, what was it? Um, the Z28s from the, the 1960s that had the, the dual four barrels on it. It was supposed to be in honor of that, and it just, it just sucked. <laughs> it sucked so bad. Like, my, my Caprice, you know, I, I talk about that car a lot on this channel because well, it's my only running driving vehicle at the moment. Um, and I like it a lot. My Caprice was faster than that thing all day long because it was just so slow. All right, stop lagging. I'm not doing this crap tonight. All right, and, and for those of you that said my inventory is too big, before I started filming, I literally cleared most of this crap out, out here. Like like this shadow here or where, where the light beam is, which is a little unusual. This was completely full of junk. I, I got rid of all of it, and I even got rid of all my stash over here too. So, um... I, I shouldn't be lagging. I shouldn't be doing this. This game just really likes to upset me sometimes. I think it's it's this car. Like, something with this car is really upsetting it. All right. Um, Looks like we have an engine here. Oh. Okay. I was wondering what I was supposed to use for an air cleaner, but I forgot. Um, I put these on here. So, we don't have to worry about that. Um, I need to put oil in it. All right. So, I need to put oil in it. Um, What else? Oh, belt. I'm going to put a belt on it. All right, there's an oil filter I had. All right, belt is installed. I need to see here. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, so that's that's something new now. There's a little loading icon, so you can't, like, accidentally, like, bump something and install it. Oh, oh no, I'm, <laughs> I almost forgot to put spark plugs in it. Uh, let me grab my oil so you guys can come over here with me. I know I showed you guys this already, but we'll take another gander over here. Um... Oh, I still do have... Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? I'm just going to stock my garage um, while I'm here. Okay. Because uh, I have a backpack mod so I can... Holy crap. This was a mistake. Well, I have a backpack mod now so I can take all of this stuff with me now. Not just a couple bottles at a time. Um, I do want the performance spark plugs. So I'm going to run down the street and grab those. Um, you know, it's good. I'll just take you guys with me real quick. Um... I don't remember if they're laying on the shelf or if I have to get them out of the magazine. I'm sure I have room in my backpack mod here. Um, I know I've said it before, but my god, what a beautiful skybox in this game. I wish I wish most games had that. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. What else? Um, I'm trying to think of stuff about me because I want my viewers to get to know me a little better. You know, and not... Oh, what? Oh, it's a bike engine stand. Okay, well, if I do any more stuff with the bike, I'll definitely pick up one of those. Ain't that cute? Um, let's see here. Oh, that's right. We can buy engine stands now, too. Wow. Um, 
<laughs> Definitely need to uh, get one from Harbor Freight. Like, my God, that is expensive. Um, I'm a little sticker shocked. I forgot what I came over here for. Oh, yeah, spark plugs. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I'll lose one. Um, let's see here. Alrighty then. Um, so yeah, I am a real life mechanic. You guys know that already. Um, I think I actually completely cut this out one episode, but I was talking about uh, my Camaro. I have a 1987 Camaro. It's actually a rare, a rare model. Um, rare kind of as in packaging, but not rare as in the way it looks. Um, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Oil. Um, yeah. Wow. That's a lot of stuff in my backpack. Oh, I forgot. I picked up tires for that thing, too. Well, here, let me drop those off at the tire machine real quick. Hopefully, I can get that done this episode. Um, because once it's daylight, that's it. You know, show's over. All right, so, yep, those are the... Oh, that's... You guys didn't have to do that. Um, but, yeah, once the, the uh, sun comes up, that's it for the episode, more or less. Let's see if I can stock my oil here. Too far. Um... But yeah, my Camaro is a 1987 Sport Coupe LT. And what I mean by that is um, the Sport Coupe was the base model Camaro um, that you could buy in the 1980s. Now, from 1982 to 1987, the Sport Coupe... Um, now, when you think of Camaro, you think of IROC. Not all Camaros are IROX. There were other models. They had the Sport Coupe. They had the Berlinetta Starship Camaro. Um, the Berlinetta ran in the third gen from 1982 to 1986. And I have literally argued with people until we were both blue in the face that my car is a Berlinetta. No, sir, it is not. My car is not a Berlinetta. Berlinetta was basically the fancy, luxurious Camaro that you could buy. It was... The Sport Coupe was kind of like, you know, the bare bones, bare basic, crank windows, but what? The... Okay, I guess that bottle's empty. Um, all right, hopefully this one has something in it. Um, they keep losing track. See what happens. Um, there we go. This one has oil in it. The Sport Coupe was kind of the bare bones car that could come in a range of from uh, four cylinder, six cylinder, and you could get a v8 a 3054 barrel um fuel injection wasn't available until 1985 and um 350s weren't available to 1987 i actually didn't even know that until a couple of years ago you know as much of a camaro nut as i am but no my car is a sport coupe lt in 1987 lt took place of berlinetta and they got rid of the uh, the digital night rider dash they had in them empty bottle great um so that's a little history on my car so my car had uh, power bucket seats, power windows, power sport mirrors, um, extended ra extended range sound system, ERS radio system, you know, all the trimmings. Did not have a gauge package, but it had the rare uh, fog light package and overhead console package. Um, so my car actually has the really slick looking uh, black thing like on the ceiling. It has a cigarette pack holder, a uh, built in flashlight. My car actually came with a flashlight built into the car that says Camaro on it. That is sharp. I have never seen any other car in the world that uh, that has something like that. All right. Um, oh, there's my spark plugs. Awesome. Here's my oil, more spark plugs, and there we go. One of these days, I'll actually organize all my crap in here, but not today. We're just just whizzing through here. Um, but yeah, that is what my car is. Um, and the reason why I say all that now is because I talked about it in one episode. Why I don't remember, but I was talking about it. <laughs> that didn't work. But um, <clears throat> a lot of people think that all third-gen Camaros are IROX. No. Um, a lot of people also think my car is a Firebird. No, it's not. <laughs> and 90% of people in general, whether they own a Camaro or not, unless they own one, think that all Camaros with the three slots in the nose are Berlinettas. They are not. <laughs> the, um, the quickest way to tell... Now, here's what sucks is these cars are like 30 to 40 years old now. They could have been repainted at any time in which of its lifetime, unless it's completely original paint. Um, sport Coupes had black mirrors. 
and sometimes they actually had like a weird looking European mirror. Camaros actually had a different style mirror on them in America. They had a, it looks just like the pointy mirror they have, except it's flat. <laughs> it's really weird looking. Where's my spark plug wrench? Oh, come on. Where'd I set it down? Have you guys seen it? I'm surprised I didn't just leave it laying on the floor. You know what? I think I used it on the motorcycle motor. Yep, there it is. Alrighty then. So, yeah, uh, the Berlinettas, um, they pretty much look exactly the same as the Sport Coupe, um, except they have, well, Sport Coupes had 14-inch rims until 87. So 87 Sport Coupe Camaros had 15-inch steel rally wheels. Um, LT Camaros had 14-inch steels or aluminum wheels. Now, the Berlinetta had the, uh, the finned aluminum rims on them. That's really how you could tell the difference. There's so many different variations. I could go on all night about it, but it, this episode isn't about my car. It's about me. I mean, I'm not that overzealous about myself. But no, like I said, I just want you guys to get to know me a little better. Because um, I know you guys like uh, my content, but I want you guys to come back for me. You know, I know I'm not like the funniest um, guy in the world. Where did I put my damn wrench? Oh, there it is. Um, now, I have some good humor, some of which I, uh, I uh, can't repeat on YouTube. That's fine. You know, that's that's for me to keep. You know what? I think I think we are completed here. So, you know what that means? I get to yank the motor out of the car. Um, we're just going to ignore any other stuff that could be possibly wrong with... Oh, right on the money. There we go. All right. So, beautiful. So, that's good there. That's going to stay there for now. I forgot my damn reg. Get it out from the pole. Um, no, I need to put the oil cap back on it. Um, oh, there it is. I don't know how that happened, but all right. So let's yank the motor out of here. I kind of went. Why do you lag right here? What is what is right here that pisses you off so bad? In the engine room, you're fine. Right here, you're upset. Why are you upset here? I literally got rid of everything out here. Is it this car? You know, it seems like whenever I do stuff with the hood, it... Are you happy now? Wait, was all that lag really because I had the hood on the roof of the car? No, it's still a little laggy. So, sorry about the lag. This game loves to... Yeah, wow, that was slow. Um, this game will always love to lag on me. Um, I do have a new computer on my Christmas list, so... Um, I have asked Santa nicely. So, we'll see what happens there. Alright, um... Oh, come on. Don't make me go into the car. I don't feel like going under the car. You're going to make me go into the car, aren't you? I don't want to go into the car. Okay, facing this direction seems to be okay. No. I did not want to take the fuel line off, but here we are. Um, there we go. Um, if you guys haven't already, um, be sure to check out Hots Automotive at YouTube.com. If you want to see stuff like this in real life, this car here is actually based off of a real-life car I worked on um, at Hots Automotive. Uh, it was a 1963 Chevy Nova that had an 871 blower on a Chevy small block. So much fun to drive. That car was an absolute blast. Um, I never even got to open it up, but it was... I mean, just imagine being able to drive this all the time. Um, some elder gentleman up in uh, northern Illinois got to take that home. So, very lucky. I wanted to buy it, but it just was not in the cards at the time. So, let's go up with you, you laggy... Laggy, laggy car. Wow, that did not enjoy that. If a car went up like that in real life, I think I'd crap my pants. Alright. Behave. Okay. Wow, why are you doing that? Stop doing that. Huh, it actually has a good transmission. And that's fine. Come on out. There we go. Well, I guess the exhaust can go too, but that'll come out with the motor. I think, well, you know, exhaust bolts seem a little easier to get to. Um, now, on a few other updates with the game, um, they did change some things with the motorcycle. Like, they will rust now. 
Um, if those of you remember the episode where I built the bike, um, the bike had uh, gas in it already. Well, apparently the new gas tank spawned with a full tank of gas. They, uh, they've they corrected that, so my bike is either out of gas now, or new ones just don't spawn with fuel in them. Which way is it? I, I don't know. But that's the way it is now. Alright, transmission should come out. If not, i got to yank the drive shaft out. I kind of miss when you didn't have to take the drive shaft out to do this, but it is what it is. Alright, you come out. You go down there. Why ain't that some magic? <laughs> All right, you go into my donation pile over here. Um, whoa. Wait, what the hell? Um, save slots. So apparently I can change... Furniture is not saved when gate is closed, so it'll be in the save spot for all save slots. Okay, so basically my racks will stay the same. Moving it around in one save slot may result in collision with things in other if you s save things in the spot you move it. Okay, so basically, I can lean in here. So basically, I have a, a lift there, a shelf there, a shelf here, and that's basically it. So basically, what they're saying is, is that I can accidentally cause a collision if I, like, re-upload. So now I can put more stuff in here. Now, let me explain something to you guys. There's a reason why I don't like modding games. Now, let's say my Nova here, well, I, I know it's not a Nova, but if I put that in that garage, you know, in the save slots, because I, I don't remember if that was a mod or if that's actually a part of the game. See, I'm already getting things mixed up. If that mod screws up, I lose my car and anything else I have in that garage. And it, it's not a money thing. I, I, I could care less about the money. It's a time thing. This was This took me a while to build, and you guys seen that. I mean, any car in this game takes a while to build. I don't want to lose that. And I even have a couple other projects in there that I don't want to lose. Because I'm very sentimental to my vehicles. Um, as you can imagine, I just don't want to lose uh, stuff I've worked so hard on. I think I'm done down here. Um, can I put this transmission in? Or is it just going to cause problems? Oh my god, I can put it in. Probably won't work, but I can put it in. Uh, let's see here. Nope, Titan. There we go. Alright, so that transmission is in. This thing ain't going to move at all, but it's in. Um, drive shaft. That can go back in. Bingo. So, yeah, that is a huge reason why I don't like uh, modding my games. Will I try it? Yeah, probably. I might stick a couple of my uh, F100s in there. Um, except for my white one. That one will stay out, because I really like that one. Don't know why. I just really like it. Alright, so down you go. Alright, so I think I just have my alternator wire and starter wire, and then this puppy can come out. Oh, I got a ground strap somewhere, too. I am sure. There we go. There's that. And that. And this. Aha! Here goes the engine. Um, I don't even remember if this engine starts, but I'm pretty sure it does. Bingo. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Um. Okay, well the new engine can go in now, I guess. Man, we are just ripping right through this project, aren't we? Um, I don't even know how long I've been playing. Because, uh, like I said, this is probably going to be a no or little to no cuts uh, episode. I just wanted to play it straight through for you guys. Because, um, like I said, I cut out a lot of my subject matter. Honestly, for uh, time. Time is honestly the biggest thing is the reason why I cut stuff out to, to like trim down my episodes. Some of you prefer the longer episodes. So I, this this is it. This is the uh, the longer episode that I want to do for you guys. Um, well, stop lagging, please. Okay. Because I know it, like the lag isn't great for me. It's worse for you guys. Um, they're watching there on YouTube. Um, why I have no clue why it lags so bad. Especially, like, between the game, recording, and then uploading, something just gets all... 
jumbled up, fouled up, messed up, gone, just, it, it it's a whole thing, you know, um, I should have kept the black fan on there, because that thing really <laughs> pokes through the front there, um, all right, now I need to find my hitbox for my fuel pump, um, somewhere, maybe, come on, where you at, like, I found it under the middle of the car here sometimes, I did bolt in my drive shaft, right? And I'll find out when it falls out. Um, I don't always say that too much. But uh, it's a filler word for us not smart people. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, come on. Wait. 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 Oh, I saw it for a second. Bingo. There we go. All right. Tighten you on. You stay right there now. Okay. <clears throat> um, where's my other motor mount? There it is. Alright, put my exhaust on. Alright, we'll do a test fire on, and if it runs good, I'll do my tires, my hood, test my headlights. We can take it for a rip. There we go. Okay, so... Let's bring the thunder. I forgot to put a starter on here. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you do that? You just forget to put your starter on your car. All right, so... No, 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 no. Go back on there. There's something moving around, and I don't like it. There we go. Did the uh, Star Wars mind meld force thing to reach the bolt there? Oh, there we go. <coughs> hey, it runs. All right, now you guys are going to be surprised as hell as how fast this damn thing is whenever I get her going. All right, so let's change out my tires real quick. Um, tell you what, this, this is kind of a uh, between you and me kind of thing. Um, leave a kind of comment. Bleh. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to know about me, or what I could talk about in the next night shift episode. That's only if you guys want another night shift episode. Because I'd be more than happy to do another episode like this. Because I think this is kind of fun. You know, I'm not, I'm not like pushing to, like get something out because of an update. Honestly, don't feel really rushed with this. I can just kind of take my time. I don't have to cut anything out. I can talk about what. No, I thought we were gonna not do that. Oh, crap! What did I just loosen? Is that a brake line? No, that, no, that, no, no. It's a part of the hub assembly. What did I just loosen? Master cylinder. No, sorry. It's a, oh, there we go. Got it. All right. How about we not do that anymore? Okay, so... So yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to talk about um, in my next episode. Because um, the thing is, I want to find something different to talk about uh, in every episode. Like, this episode, it's just you guys getting to know me a little bit. Um, next episode, I could talk about a new car that's out there on the market. Or a new technology that's out there on the market. Want to talk about electric cars? We can talk about electric cars and my view on it. Um... You know, and we can we can talk about anything. Anything you guys, uh, obviously automotive stuff. You know, we're just gonna keep it automotive. <laughs> Oof, that looks rough. Um, that's that's fine. We're just gonna ignore that for now. All right, so let's put this on the tire machine. I'm going with a slightly taller tire because I want a little bit more 
ground clearance, if you know what I mean. Okay, don't know why that did that. That's new. Not that I really ever take tires off much. I usually just put new tires on new wheels. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever actually intentionally put four lug wheels back on a lot. I always do the uh, five lug conversion on them. Um, I think the reason why is because I like the taller wheel. Also, five lug wheels. I just like five lug wheels a lot better. Um, I wish we had an actual pressure, but I think there's only two... How rude. Um, there's only two kinds of pressures. There's is pressure or there is not pressure. There is no in between. Oh, it's the stupid lift. You turd. All right. Push you forward on a rack. Don't push you off. Nope. Not enough. Can, can I do this? I cannot. Oh, crud. All right. Looks like I have to teeter-totter the car some more to get it. Come on. I mean, if it could stay up like that, I mean, I suppose that would work. All right. No. <clears throat> All right. Come on. This is starting to upset me. Come on. Alright, this is, isn't what I had in mind this episode. Yeah, there, stayed just like that. Alright, is this my wheel? Yep, there it is. Alright, so we'll get you on there. Perfect. This is so sketch right now, it's not even funny. Um, for those of you who know what a Toyota Yaris is, like the older ones that are like really, really, really tiny, um... I had to lift one up on a T-post one time, and I don't know if the floor was just not level or what, but uh, I was looking under the car. I, I think I was doing, like, a brake inspection, and a part of the car was actually off the lift like this. Like, it wasn't even touching it. The car was only being held up by three of the four arms, and I was like, uh, um, <laughs> that's, uh, let's, uh, let's get this thing done and get it the hell out of here, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Yeah, really sketch. Okay, good. It didn't fly this time. All right. Um, I guess these are my tires. I know that everything. <laughs> excuse me. Everything kind of went flying everywhere. Did that just fly through the wall. What the hell? All right. Come on. Enough of this crap. <sighs> I'm tired. It's three o'clock in the morning. I got about three hours left until sunup. You know, for an episode that uh, I don't have to get something done, I'm really trying to get something done here. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it was like there was like an hour and a half of nighttime in this game, or something like that, and only like like 20 minutes of daylight. Like the day night scale was like way off in this game, or something like that. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. My goodness. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this wheel right here for now, because, uh, I can't put it on that one because the stupid lift is still in the way. Where did I put my wrench now? Um, oh, come on. I literally just had it. Oh, there it is. This thing is so hard to find sometimes. Hey, you should see me at work when I have a tray full of tools to, uh, to use. There we go. All right, now we are getting somewhere. All right, look, two more wheels, a set of hubcaps, and I can drive this thing. That's all I'm trying to do. That's it. No more. No less. All right, that wheel can go on after I, you know, change it over. And then we can do burnouts because everyone likes burnouts. Well, most people. That one neighbor, you know, they don't like burnouts, but that's fine. I like them. Uh, all right, put you back on. Man, I tell you what, I wish tires were this easy to put on in real life. My goodness, I've done so many tires here lately. You know, with the winter season coming up, it's not even funny. And, um, like, tires with a decent sidewall like this aren't that bad. Whenever you start getting into, like, 
you know, 17s, 18s, 20s with uh, low sidewalls, they are such a tedious task to try to get on there. Like, it's it's just monotonous to, to try to get that crap on there. Um, okay, that's unusual. My fingers just went numb. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. <sighs> I'm getting old. I've been playing too many video games. Alright. Alright. The last one. Oh, pick it up. Stop lagging. Not this crap again. Please, just stop lagging for once and for all. Alright. Tire off. Tire on. On the car. Well, I guess I need to put air in it, but... Uh, uh, air is extra. All right. Now, hopefully when I do my run across the bridge, I don't actually crash the car again like I did my truck last episode. All righty then. Oh, yeah, it has to go here, which... Oh, my God, it actually went on. All right, hurry up and bolt that damn thing on there before it flies off. All right, the way that's sitting on the lift, I approve. No, not really. Um, let's see, hubcap on. Hubcap on. Hubcap on. And last hubcap on. Alright, hope you guys know what this means next. We get to drive this thing. That's hopefully if my headlights work. Oh, wait, you know what? There's one more piece of the. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, actually, you know what? There's two more things I have to do yet. I have to put the hood back on it, and I wanted to put a uh, chrome grill on here. Get over here. There we go. Oh, wow. Man, just look at that thing. Ain't that slick looking? That's just mean right there. All right. Um, I forgot. I got to put ice cube juice in it real quick. Is it going to be one jug or two jugs? I don't know. It is a lot of. Hopefully, with any amount of luck, there's some left in the radiator. Is there? Oh, my God. There is some in there. All right. I just totally lost that. That's fine. Wow. Tell you what, lag makes it super fun and awesome to uh, pour your fluids in this game. I do love the fluid dynamic in this. Like, you're responsible for doing the pouring. A lot like My Summer Car. I haven't played that game in a while. If you guys haven't seen them already, I have released a couple episodes on that game, but I didn't didn't really get a huge following on it, so I didn't do any more. But if you guys would like to see me pick that game back up, um, I'd be more than happy to pick up where I left off with that game. Um, now I need to find my cap wherever it landed. There it is. Um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to pick that game back up where I left off. Um, just a little bit of a recap on that one. I literally moved the Satsuma and every single part for it to Fleet Haris. And I decided to build the car there. And boy, let me tell you how much a mistake that was. I have hated it ever since. Like, it's just logistically not right. I just... I figured, man, I'd have all the tools, I'd have a lift, and it just, man, you got to worry about the hours, the time of day, food. You have no transportation because I figured out that there's certain trigger items to trigger the uh, the van in that game, to get the van. And I didn't know that um, at the time, so yeah, that sucked, like really bad. All right, here we go, the first drive of our six-cylinder swapped lot of here. Um, there we go. Okay. Bring the thunder. Alright, do we have headlights? Hey, hey, we have headlights. Holy crap. Alright. Oh. Keep forgetting about that in this game. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow. 
Tell you what, man, this six cylinder has got some torque. Like, holy crap. Um, and for those of you who have asked, um, the change of view is the numbers on top of the keyboard. One for inside, two for uh, steady cam, three for a free cam. This one, oh, this is like a tripod cam. I don't know what that one does. Oh, wrong button. Uh, that's the blinker. All right, so that's like a follow cam. But, yeah, that's what those do. So, yeah, just play around with the keyboard, you know, see what uh, different stuff does. Man, I'm just idling in first gear right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that just about kicked kicked the rear end out from under me. I didn't put a posi in here, so um, traction might be very limited. Um, and, man, let me tell you, this thing will scream to the moon. All right, now we have somewhat of a straightaway. You know what? I'm going to do something smart here um, before I wreck my car. No, come on. Stop it. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to quick save my game. Because <laughs> if I uh, wind up in the water... Um, Uh-oh. Yeah, saving this game for me is, uh, is always a struggle for my computer. Come on. Save it. Save it. All right, there we go. It's safe. And hey, we have a few minutes left before the sun comes up. So, all right, here we go. All or nothing. Wait, did I? Oh, I did. Okay. I honestly think this is more powerful than the V8 in this car. Oh man, buried the speedo. Holy cow, stop, stop, shut it down, <laughs> shut it down. Holy crap. Um, I would guess that was about 280 kilometers an hour. Oh my god, yeah, this this has way more way more pep than the V8. Dude, I love this little sleeper, like this thing. <laughs> Like, holy cow, what? I don't even know the specs on this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Um, almost screwed that up. Um, let's see here. It's got a... Oh, it does have a posi in it. Okay, so I, I only have 3.8 gears in here. Okay, so that's about a decent highway gear. So, yeah, that's about mid-range. It's not horrible. Oh, and uh, I did put the big 6 on here, the, the 250 cubic inch. Um, 280 kilometers an hour. Um, whenever I do edit this, I'll put up how fast that is in, like, miles an hour. But, uh, I don't know how much that is. But, man, we are really cooking. It's a nice, uh, fifth gear pull. This bridge is not straight, by the way. Just so you guys know. I'm sure if I had like the three two in here, um, my engine just stalled out. Well, that's not ideal. Oh, did I just run out of gas? Almost sounds like an electric car. Um. All right, maybe. Hopefully, I can coast it into the gas station. Maybe. I either locked up the motor. Or, uh, or I ran it out of gas. Come on. You can do it. We can make it. Oh, that's a ledge right there. No wonder I can't walk over it. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We didn't do it. All right. This is always fun. Um, which side is my gas door on? Is it on the... Yeah, it's on the passenger side. <laughs> Alright. Um, let me check the engine and make sure I didn't just blow something up. Um, here, let's take a gander here. 
Um, engine looks fine. Engine looks perfectly fine. Um, this is definitely quite the powerhouse. Um, out of all the mods that are available right now, I do not believe that there is a, a turbo mod for the six cylinder yet, but it is in the works. There also are a few mods coming out for the truck, and I also heard, heard rumors that there is another uh, truck based vehicle coming out soon as well. Um, as for the game itself, the developer of the game, I don't know what he has in mind. I mean, there's, I mean, this game is honestly always changing. I love this game. Um, but we will see what happens there. Let's top this thing off with gas. Um, there we go. There's the load icon. Man, I wish we had that for the trunk lid so we don't just, like, fling our, our cap everywhere. Alright, um, putting gas in this thing is always a chore, too. There we go. Now we're filling. Nope, now we're not filling. Oh, for the love of God, come on. Stop it. Oh, no. Okay, good. The gas cap's still there. Alright, I think we're putting gas in it now. Alright, so that definitely hasn't changed at all. Um, wait, where's the hitbox for that? <sighs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, it looks like I have the sun coming up on the horizon. Um, yeah, I definitely like this little car. I can only imagine what the uh, same engine will do in that truck I have in there, which I have converted to just rear-wheel drive. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I've driven a few of the all-wheel drive trucks, and I feel like they're just really sluggish. So, I don't know, maybe the six-cylinder is the key to uh, making the truck a powerhouse. We will see in the near future. This car here is definitely um, going to be a special one in my arsenal. Um, what color should I paint it? What color interior should I do in it? I would love your guys' input on this build. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you haven't or are not already, tell me, what should I do with this thing? Uh, wheels are staying. But what should I do with the car? Should I just leave it black or make it all black? You know, just make it a sleeper. You know, black interior, black paint, just no, nothing that really stands out about it. Or should I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Or I might just leave it just like this and just take it out on the town every now and again. I hate driving in this game because I don't like crashing my stuff. But nevertheless, here we are and it is done. Um, in the next episode, I might not do the truck because, again, these are things I was just planning on doing on my own, but decided to start this new series for you guys. So I think that will do it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.